afternoon Bethel family. We are here. It is time for a big announcement. I hope you were super excited. Some of you set your alarms. Some of you took off of work. No, I don't think anybody did that. If you did, you shouldn't have. Uh, but in any case, a couple quick things that we want to share with you. Stuff that we think is super exciting. Uh, and we're, we're looking forward to it. So this has to do with some COVID regulations and re relaxing some of these regulations as uh, the numbers all across the country, including New York State, are, are moving in a positive direction. People are getting the vaccine. Uh, so here's a couple of things I want to share with you. First of all, I want to thank everyone from our church for being incredible and just incredibly careful for the last year. So our safety policies to this point, and I want you to hear this, have a 100% effectiveness rate. 100%. That means there's not one person in our church body that contracted COVID through a church service. And there's not one person in our church body that shared COVID with somebody at the church. We have had many people who have contracted it at work or, or out, outside, but nothing has tra transpired in church because you have been cautious and safe and careful. And for that, as the pastor here, I am incredibly grateful. Thank you for, for being wise, being smart, following whatever guidelines were in place. You did a phenomenal job. So because we've been safe, we're, we're going to continue to try to reopen some things, re, restart some ministries here at the church, and getting life back to something a little bit more normal than, than what we've been. And we're going to continue to be flexible. This can change. We can go forward, back, whatever we have to do uh, to, to stay safe. Safety is one of our top priorities. Our top priority is doing the will of God and reaching our community. But safety is right up there. We want our church family to be safe like they have been up until this point. So here are a couple of the changes that are coming to Bethel Full Gospel. And I hope and I think you are going to like them a little bit. So the first thing that we want to introduce is our new sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh, good stuff, huh? So listen, there are some in our church who are being very careful and, and some in our church who should be very careful when it comes to social distancing. So what we're doing is at the door when you walk in, these stickers will be on the table. We would ask if you want to be careful and you want to make sure people are staying six feet away. No one's coming up to give you a hug. Mm, good to see you. Okay, none of that. Grab one of these when you come in. Wear it prominently in a place where people can see it. Don't hide it under your coat. And this is going to be your symbol to others that, hey, I want to be careful. I, I, I want to play it safer. I want to be at church, but please respect my six feet. That's what this sticker says. If you don't need the sticker, you don't want the sticker, maybe you think it's silly, listen, you don't need one. Don't take it. But it's on the back table when you first walk in to the building in the foyer. It'll be right on the table by the hand sanitizer. Grab a sticker, put it on, let people know you're being safe, you're taking every precaution. Second thing that we are going to do is we have been increasing in service. Uh, second service specifically. We are almost filled to our, uh, to our current seating capacity. So what we've done is we've added a bunch of chairs. Now here's the thing. We don't have the time or the manpower to add and remove chairs between first and second service, obviously. Here's what you need to know. First service, our, our attendance numbers in first service, there is plenty of space and plenty of room for everyone to spread out. There's no social distancing issues or problems in first service. That will continue to be the case. In second service, we've set up the sanctuary a little different. Let's give it a quick pan. And what you'll see is the first half of the sanctuary is set up like it was before COVID. Before COVID, full rows all the way across, two sections on each side with a center aisle. If you go to the back of the sanctuary, what you'll see is the chairs are the same way that they were last week. We have room in the back for as many people to socially distance that we would need. 
First service, there's so much room, it's not an issue. Second service, if you're someone whose health is compromised or you're a little older and you want to be careful second service, these back seats are for you. Now listen, I know there's some of you that like the extra leg room. You know who you are. These are not the, the prime seats for extra leg room or because you don't like people. Please save these back sections, the chairs that are more spaced, save those for those who are being extra careful because of the pandemic. Listen, if you're out and partying and doing your thing and going to the store and not being careful, all, don't all of a sudden come to church on Sunday and be like, no, no, I need, I need the extra space, social, come on. Jesus knows, he knows you're not fooling anybody. So I, I really, second service people, I encourage you, unless you are specifically taking precautions like all week, come to the front half, plenty of room still to spread out, to be seated. We need the space, so we're excited uh, about that. So that's what we're doing for Sunday morning. Something else that is coming to Sunday morning. Coffee. Hallelujah. Okay, we are resuming coffee service, and what we're going to do with that is Sunday from 10 to 10.30. Sunday morning, 10 to 10.30, coffee will be served. We'll be serving it the same way we did previously, where somebody is, is uh, pouring your cup of coffee, then you can take care of sugar or cream, drink it black. No tables are out there. There will be no food, but coffee will be available. It will be available between services. So after first, before second, from 10 to 10.30, if you're here and you'd like some coffee, absolutely go ahead, do it. So here's the last big announcement. So the 8.30 service is going to remain as is. We have the extra chair set up. No other changes are coming to 8.30, except you'll have the stickers. Uh, the stickers will be on the back table if those help you out. Second service, we are going to move back to our masks optional policy. First service, mask mandatory. Everything stays the same. Wear a sticker if you'd like. Second service, stickers still available. Second service, the back seats are still spread out for those who need it. But masks will be optional for second service. If you are safety conscious... I would strongly encourage you, if you're social distancing and being careful, I would strongly encourage you to attend the first service. I think that would be the smartest move for you. But even if you want to come to second, grab a sticker, grab a, a seat in the back, you'll still have your space and, and you'll be plenty safe. So that is the plan for Sunday morning and that is all starting this Sunday. This week, I'm looking forward to being back with you and preaching this Sunday. So all of the new chairs have been set up and the new protocols are in place starting this Sunday. But wait, there's more. If you order now, no, okay. If we also have some good changes coming to Wednesday night. Now our Wednesday night Bible study has been in person for a little time now, maybe a month, two months maybe. We've been meeting live for a Wednesday night Bible study. But now as March has rolled around, we've made the decision not only to have our adult Bible study, youth has moved their services just to Wednesday nights. So every Wednesday we'll have our adult Bible study and our youth will be meeting and kids ministry. Kids ministry from preschool up until youth group will be running as well with Pastor Naylene. So we have something for all age groups again at our midweek service. The only group that is not covered yet is the youngest children in the nursery. We're still, uh, we're, we're still being very careful with, with the kids in the nursery age. So other than that, Wednesday nights, we have options for you and your kids. Listen, some of y'all need to get out of the house. Come, bring your kids. They'll get a good Bible study. We'll have a good Bible study. Uh, we just finished the book of Daniel. We're starting the Gospel of John. The Gospel, I'm so excited uh, about, about sharing the life of Jesus through the eyes of John. Uh, incredible stuff. So we're looking forward to that. Come on out. Get, out. get your kids in youth again. Get your kids hearing the Bible again. Come yourself and worship. Now, our Wednesday night crowd, we use the whole sanctuary and we ask that when you come in, you wear your mask. And when you leave, you wear your mask. But throughout worship and the, the, the message, we're so spread out in here on Wednesdays, you don't need it. 
You, you can be 20 feet away from someone if you want. Uh, so I love Wednesday nights to come together and, and worship, and I've loved being maskless for the last month or so. Uh, it's been very nice. So want to invite you to come out and join us for Wednesday nights as well. We're super excited about that. So we got some changes to Sunday. We got some changes to Wednesday. We've been doing really good because you've been responsible. When you've been sick, you stayed home. You didn't come. You didn't push through. There's no pushing through in, uh, in 2021. We're, we're staying home. We're being careful. We're not spreading it. We're not, nobody's getting it here. That is outstanding. People in our church have suffered from COVID, but they're not getting it and contracting the virus at the church. So we're doing everything we can to keep you safe. While that remains important, I am so excited for some things to be reopening, for church starting to feel just a little, just a little bit more normal. Because I don't know about you, but after the last year, and it's been about a year now, I'm ready for some normal. So we're excited. I hope you are too. We're here tomorrow night at 6.30 for our Wednesday night Bible study, as well as our youth and our kids ministry. All of that is running tomorrow night. And then we'll see you Sunday. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.